Welcome to the Scottish Rite Journal podcast, an audio presentation of the Scottish Rite Journal, brought to you by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, Southern Jurisdiction, Mother Supreme Council of the World. This week's article is The Eastern Star, Making God's Presence Visible on Earth in Honoring Biblical Heroines and Their Virtues, by Selman Karatis, and comes from the January-February 2023 issue of the Scottish Rite Journal. Joining the Eastern Star more than a decade ago has been one of the best things that I have ever done. The knowledge I have gained is life-changing, and the friendships which have turned into true sisterhood are lifelong. In this article, I will explain what the Eastern Star is. The Order of the Eastern Star, OES, is one of several groups affiliated with Freemasonry. While sometimes thought of as a woman's organization, The Order, in fact, welcomes both men and women as members. The Eastern Star was established by lawyer and educator Rob Morris, a noted Freemason and author of many Masonic-themed poems. His poetic side is visible in the many beautiful passages of the Manual of the Eastern Star that he wrote with fellow Freemason Robert McCoy in New York in 1865. See David B. Dribble, 33rd Degree. Rob Morris, founder of the Eastern Star, Scottish Rite Journal, November 1992, page 14. The order is based on teachings from the Bible, but is open to people of all faiths. The character-building lessons taught in the order are stories inspired by such biblical heroines from the Old Testament as Ada, the judge Jephthah's daughter in the book of Judges, Ruth, the widow from the book of Ruth who comes to follow the faith of her mother-in-law, Naomi, and Esther, the queen in the book of Esther who saves the Jewish people from impending destruction. To fill the other two points of the star, Eastern Star Ritual then turns to the New Testament and the exemplary lives of Martha, the sister of Mary and Lazarus from the Gospels of Luke and John, and Electa, the star's adopted name for the elect lady in the epistle of 2 John chapter 1 verse 1. Each point of the star in the physical setup of an Eastern Star chapter represents one of these women, Ada, Ruth, Esther, Martha, and Electa, and the respective individual qualities each one represents. Fidelity, constancy, loyalty, faith, and love. While the Masonic Lodge is focused on the allegory of King Solomon's construction of the Temple at Jerusalem, the Eastern Star takes its name from the Nativity narrative of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 2, as the Magi announced that, We have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. Behold, while the Eastern Star is usually not thought of in terms of esoteric masonry, it should be noted that Albert Pike, in the Scottish Rites Morals and Dogma, did interpret this biblical passage as an adept might when he spoke of the incarnate word adorned in its infancy by Magi whom a star guides, the ternary and the sign of the microcosm, and receiving from them gold, frankincense, and myrrh, another mysterious ternary, under the emblem whereof are allegorically contained the highest secrets of the Kabbalah, lecture of the 28th degree, Knight of the Sun, or Prince Adept. Was OES founder Rob Morris possibly aware of such associations? Replete in biblical symbolism, Eastern Star Ritual has many associations from Scripture. The acronym F-A-T-A-L, used in the OES, refers to nothing fatalistic, but is an allusion to the biblical song of songs. As in Freemasonry, Eastern Star members are free to determine the meanings of symbols for themselves. In the chapter room, the book on the pillar in the center of the star is the volume of sacred law, that book which inspired so much of the Eastern Star's ritual and which acts as the chapter's moral compass. The five implements typically pictured represent the five biblical women and their respective representations of Eastern Star and Masonic virtues. The sword and veil represent Ada, and the virtue of obedience to duty and vows made. A sheaf of barley stands for Ruth, whose virtue is adherence to religious principles. The crown and scepter symbolize Esther, who embodies the virtue of loyalty. The broken column is a metaphor for Martha and the virtue of endurance in trial. The golden cup is emblematic of Electa and the virtue of endurance of persecution. An Eastern star heroine with a particularly interesting story is Queen Esther. In an earlier article called The Eastern Star by Brother Alphonse Serza, 33rd degree, writes in the October 1961 New Age magazine, 
as the Scottish Rite Journal was then known. The name Esther means star. In the Holy Bible, Esther is presented as a person of great strength and personal beauty who heard of a plot against her people and protected them from destruction. The plotter was hanged in their stead. This story is used by the Eastern Star to symbolize one's fidelity to kindred and friends. This narrative of Queen Esther and her defense of the Jewish people against the schemes of her evil nemesis, Haman, is celebrated even today as the Jewish holiday of Purim, held on March 6th and 7th in 2023. Thus far in my Eastern Star journey, I have held the title of Esther as well as Electa. Electa is my favorite of the Eastern Star biblical figures, for her name means called of God. She epitomizes the lessons of charity and hospitality, representing the ideal mother. Ultimately, she sacrificed everything to establish a religious heritage for her children. Indeed, it is my hope that one day I will be remembered as w- Indeed, it is my hope that one day I will be remembered as an honorable lady who was called of God. Like and share this article, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you wish to comment, please leave one, and as a reminder, hit the notifications bell. Any accompanying photographs or citations for this article can be found in the corresponding print edition. The Scottish Rite Journal is published by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, Southern Jurisdiction, Mother Supreme Council of the World, Mark Dryson Stock, 32nd Degree, KCCH, Managing Editor. I'm your host, Matt Bowers. 